Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome to a very special episode of Top Deck. We are spotlighting our very own TZ Eleanor's deck, Cynic Jadzi. I'm so excited about this. She has been working so hard in our Deck Builders channel and has produced an absolute powerhouse of a deck here. 60 plus percent win. I would also probably say it's a six plus platinum the mythic win deck here today for top deck. Very, very proud of her and very excited what she's pulled together here in, the, in our channel. So um, with that, flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video. If you have questions, if you have comments, particularly for her, feel free to hop on the Discord server and ask. Um, on top of that, you can certainly let me know down below. The information is below in the details for the Discord server and the timestamps where we will cover the strategy objective of this list. We'll go in your boarding for best of three. I have added to her list for best of three. Um, and then we'll go play that competitive magic here today in both best of one and best of three here um, with uh, TZ Eleanor's deck. So very, very excited about this. Um, other great ways to support the channel down below. Uh, flip me a like if you enjoy it as well. So here's what we got going on. Simic Jazzy. So first off, it revolves around Jazzy Oracle of Arcavios. Ah, I think I got it. Um, so here we can do two things. During the Oracle, for four, we can dump all our lands on the field. Um, if we do um, and have eight or more, we can discard a card, return this back to our hand. Um, what happens with Jadzi here is we can discard a card, we can return uh, Oracle of, of Arcavios to our hand. Um, if it's on the board, works great. Um, it's got Magecraft, and the Magecraft here is whenever we cast that Sorcerer Instant Spell, we can reveal the top card of our library. If it's a non-land card, we can pay one. Um, so it's a great, great way to ramp and play a ton of stuff and just keep spinning, spinning, spinning. Um, if it's a land, um, it will just go right to the battlefield. So it's very cool. There's a lot of stuff that we can do here um, and certainly going to make things extremely, extremely in interesting. So hopefully we can make this pop off today um, and see it in action. But what do we have going on? So this is really a um, <laughs> a nice paced deck. And I say that because you have to be patient. Um, certainly there's a lot of things that you can do here. We have to pay attention to the board. A lot of one-offs, a lot of different plays and lines of play, um, which is going to make it very important. We do have 19 lands here um, which is very interesting and something that we want to keep in mind but on the flip side we have things like Salundi's vision um, tons of ramp here as well uh, to make sure that we are doing the best that we can so it's really really thin um, for best of one but we have a lot of abilities um, to quickly ramp on those lands and find the things that we need um, making it very very important here so this deck, like I said, runs at 60%. It's really slow out of the gate, but you want to make sure you're ramping. If you can get Quandrix in there, huge, huge value um, right off the bat. Then you're moving downstream here um, to getting a lot of powerhouse cards um, and move into the late game. So the one hangup can be the lands at times, um, but that's going to be a big one just to pay attention to. We obviously have Seagate Restoration in here as well. Um, doubling up. Um, so very, very nice uh, and very spot on for those lands. Um, so that is really a strategy objective of this deck. You're going to tie down the early game, try and ramp to the late game early. Um, so it's kind of a traditional Simic ramp deck from that per se. But again, this allows you to do so much um, on the top end. So that is the strategy of this one. Next, we're going to go ahead and tackle the sideboard. But the first piece here for best one, because it is a best of one deck, um, we have two key access cards here with Fae of Wishes. We also have another access card here um, that's very important with Divide by Zero. We're going to get access to a few items that we need, um, particularly with our lessons. Um, but then additionally with uh, Fae of Wishes, we get access to a graveyard removal, uh, Midnight Clock for additional land or the ability to shuffle our graveyard back in and reset the board. And then obviously Ugin here as well. So lots of great thought and thinking um, in terms of that. As we open to the bigger best of three battles here, um, we're going to break this down in terms of aggro, mid-range, and late game. 
Um, so those aggro lineups are going to be things like mono red, mono white, boros, spinata, uh, gruel, uh, gruel magda. Um, here, those ones, what I would prefer doing is throwing in a Quandrix, and I would also pr uh, prefer throwing in Elder Gargaroth. What we're doing is we're trying to get more creatures um, in here. Then what you're also going to do is you're going to move some of the other counterspell magic cards that you might not need so much, um, like Test the Talents. You really just want to slow them down, keep the light, keep the light, keep the light. Um, at, at a certain point, you will begin um, to get ahead of them on the board, so that's kind of what you're going to play for. Then in the mid-range space, um, again, you're going to face those Winata decks, the Gruul uh, Magda Adventures decks as well. Um, we got Naya in there as well from the token space. Um, you're going to run into, is it Tempo? Is it Dragons? Um, Mono Blue Tempo. Uh, all the Sacrifice decks. Golgari, Mardu, uh, John Rakdos, Rakdos Midrange, Pass Weatherbloom, all those things as well. Um, so those are some key components of that midrange space. Here, we're gonna begin to either creature base, do the same thing, otherwise consider um, what we need to, to removing some of the other cards um, that either will directly kill what we have on the board um, or control it or make us discard or things like that. Um, so that's gonna be the key component. Last but not least, we got late game. These are gonna be the control matches. These could be any things like the ultimatum decks, teamer ultimatum, salt eye ultimatum. So team return, salt eye emergent. We also have the doom decks, um, four color all the way to two. Um, and then in this space, also we got our traditional control, Azorus, Dimmer, Salt Eye, um, lots of those being snow. And then in that space, we also have Azorus Blank. So here, you're probably gonna play more like Disdainful Strokes, the Negates, Mystical Disputes, those kinds of things, and really, really lock our opponent down. We're gonna wanna get that maximum capacity um, and really, really tie things up um, from that perspective, my friends. So really, really looking forward, like I said, to playing this here today. So we're gonna go ahead and get into that competitive magic. Um, so we talked about the main board, we talked about how we're gonna sideboard. Now we're gonna go play that best of one and best of three here with our jazzy um, Simic deck. So let's go ahead and play some competitive magic um, and we'll go from there. Standard ranked, Salt Eye Snow is what we ran yesterday. You should absolutely check that out. Super fun, Simic Jazzy. And also quickly here, um, happy Father's Day um, to all those fathers out there as well. So here we go. Um, we'll get started in our ranked. Very, very looking forward to playing this here. Um, so, so far we covered the strategy objective of this list. We talked about some key components um, of this deck. Um, getting the land drops right is going to be very, very important. Um, so we'll just have to keep an eye on that. So this is very, very nice. Um, we go first. I like having Quandrix early on. So we got A and Clock here. So now what we're going to want to get, ideally, um, we're going to need to find ourselves with a lovely... Uh-oh, so this is going to be a one out of deck. We're gonna need to find ourselves with some lovely, lovely um, spells. All right. So they're gonna go grab that red. So if we had some delay here, it would be very, very helpful. We're gonna, ooh, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna kick this one in here. We're gonna flip in. If we can get our Gargaroth on the board, we'll be in a really good spot. There we go. This is big for us here too. We'll tack in. So we'll assume they get Banata. So here's what's really nice. So then we have Stern Dismissal, so we can pump this back. So here's Jazzy. Um, but we're going to run into an issue here because we're not going to be able to get it. 
So we want to go with... Let's go with another blue. So here comes Winata. And depending on what they hit is going to be key here. Um, because we'll either take the life or we're going to make something real big. So we'll block here, we'll block here. And let's draw a card. Ooh, interesting. It's too bad, because it would have been really nice to get this thing on the board. Um, what do we want to do here? So we definitely want to play... Oh, not enough yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not enough. Um, so we'll definitely play this. Yeah, let's draw a card. Ooh. Um, so we can push Winata back if we want to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, missing this by one. So let's do this. Let's go draw a card. that we can take nine and be just fine We actually have lethal. Boom! We got it! We beat a Winata deck. We had Jadzi there. We had it there. Very, very nice. Best of one. Love it. Oh, that was so, so nice. On to our next one here. Let's see what we can hit. Let's see if we can flip that one on. Nope. I already did that for the day. All right. Let's see what we can do in our second best of one. Not bad. 60% win looking good for us so far. Neck MTG. All right. So we got Quandrix again. And the lens. So we did see how we kind of ran into a little bit of uh, mana challenge there a little bit later. Uh-oh, we got a cycle deck. This will be real interesting for us here. Real interesting. Bunch of little flyer guys. Oh my gosh. So we can do a couple things. Let's 
scope hole. Let's grab that one. And we'll put that one and that one. So here's where Jadzi's other ability here, where you could load all these lands incredibly, incredibly fast. Oh, I can get my Quandrix. It's all right. They need two iron crags here to get us. Oh. Guess we should have waited. So we can do this. Not lethal yet. They have here four. Oh. play coma <laughs> so what could we do here we could get a bunch of flyers um let's try this uh it's not gonna work the way we want it to um, Coma, we could tap them down. Oh. Let's do this. Let's go ramp. It's not going to be enough. It's too bad. They have lethal just with their flyers. Oh, I was so hoping for some fun stuff there with Quandrix guy on early, and I had to drop an iron crag. Oh, it happens. It happens. All right, on to our next best of one here. Can we see Jazzy? I have faith. Let's do it. Now oh, we've had great mana starts, which is nice too. All right, here we go. Ramon fifteen eighty nine. Let's move that up. Oh, we got Jazzy, but we have some issues here. We'll try it. It's gonna make us look like mono blue. I don't know. We'll see. Oh no! There we go. That's good. We'll have to hard cast this. Which I don't like.
All right. Now we're not sitting in a bad spot. Could use the land. It's a good pull. We are paying attention. I'll essence scatter this guy. I'll hang on to that one. There we go. Perfect. The one four Bay of Wishes deterring everything right now. Oof. Oof. Find that land. There we go. Divide by zero would be great right now. Oh, here we go. So, X. Dry two. Let's get some lands. Ooh, do we want that? No, because we need lands. Oh, that's going to hurt. Luminarch's going to hurt. I got to let that hit. Now the stern dismissal would have been helpful. Well, I definitely want to pull those two off. Ooh, um, we could trigger Quandrix here. It's not going to be enough, though. Not enough yet. Ah! Ooh, let's take both those, actually. It's not going to matter because they will come back with everything they need here. If we can live for one more turn. I don't know if we can. We'll see.
It's enough. Just enough. Oh, shoot. We were focused on it. We didn't quite get there. The counter magic did not help us um, enough. So going one and two, though, in best of one, pretty happy with that, um, particularly because we didn't have some of the right makeup, but we certainly did get away um, in that first match there. So let's go ahead and play some best of three into our traditional standard ranked here, um, grabbing our Simic Jadzi deck. I just want to get it off at least once. So I am very focused on that for the record. All right. Bear Koala. Play first. All right. We can play this. Bear Koala. Uh-oh. Are we going to be a gatekeeper? I don't know. Gatekeeper for Mythic today. Uh oh, looks like a mono red. We'll wait on that. Ooh, it's not mono red. So it is most definitely a tempo deck. Yep. So we could divide by zero on this. Um, I'm going to grab this, though. We'll test the talent set instead. All right. In our opponent's hands. Look at that. It is the combo deck. So we just want to get a quick look. Yep. Combo, combo, combo land. Opponent's hand. Combo, combo, combo land. They have an adopted library. Done. Let's test the talents to be huge against this deck. And counter magic. we do now we'll kick it back we'll see if they counter there they'll maybe unsubstantiate it we'll see there it is we'll screw them up we don't need our borrower just just fine so we'll wait Got two of those. We got divide by zero. So we can try and flush some of these things out again. Scatter that. Let's grab these. All right. It's 
we got another essence scatter and a mystical dispute here. Let's grab that. All right, do we have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're at seven. Ugh. Probably counter that so I can keep gold span on. There it is. That's fine. Do I have enough to combo. They can grab unsubstantiate back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try that. Make a very big, very big one here. Good test of talent set. We still have our dispute too. Boom, counter magic. and scatter library let's get rid of that graveyard and get rid of those and let's grab that boom now we would have got the jizzy <laughs> oh we would have got there we would have got there all right so this one we definitely want to throw in apprentice gargaroth um, I'm going to drop the multiverse, even though that was huge for us. We'll grab these two. Um, we want to get the negates in. Stainful Stroke isn't going to be as good. Um, Stern Dismissal helps a little bit. Uh, we got some cheaper play off that. We'll go with one Fae of Wishes. Um, Brazen still helps. We can go a little bit lighter on Kasima. Um, we'll go two of those. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Oh, Jazzy. So close. So close. We didn't. I want to see it go off. Oh, my gosh. Here's a terrible starting hand for us. All right, we can deal with this. We'll throw Coma back in. Even though it's a win con right off the bat too. I don't know, maybe we keep this one. Maybe we keep the Coma. Bear Koala. 
that out of here right away. We'll give him one shot. We'll give him a freebie. Test it. Ooh, they had it. Let's still get our land. We'll go there. I need to debate if we go this. I think we wait a turn. Right. So now we do this. Two, three, four, five. So they have to combo out now. They have to have all the pieces in their hand. If they have, it could have it. That's the brutal one. See, the truth is the brutal one here. Because that's the one that needs to come out of there. Out of there. Fly. That's how you get the combo going. So we gotta play this a little bit differently here. Just too bad. Now, the other thing you can main board here is Tormat's Crypt, too, because that will rip them the new one.
All right. Pick me back here. Maybe. Combo. So now they have the Prismari command, so they can keep comboing out here. Ooh, we're still alive then. We are still alive. Um, all right. We could also play Coma. That's not going to be the life, though. That hurts. They need to get... A mutate card if they get it then they'll be in a good spot so this is where we do well we can essence scatter it we could also stern dismissal reset so we actually need to essence scatter So if they have a counter, they're still good, because then they can combo out. If not, we're still alive. I would assume they have one. There, they got it. So we will run mainboard Tormod script. We will let him finish. Oh, no, Jadzi. Not bad. All right, third and final match here. Best of three. Can we make it happen? Um, Disdainful Stroke's a good one too. Uh, let's grab this in the main board. The Stern Dismissal still kind of helps. Uh, maybe we drop those and we do go with one disdainful stroke. Let's try that. We still want to play this, so that's why I'm not pulling that out yet. Still want to play that. Ah, such a bummer. It's a good match, though. Oh, Bear Koala taking some time here on the boarding. That is okay. We will play first. We will keep this. Even though 
we have no counters. Because we will move very fast. There's their light. There we go. There's one. And two. Wandrix. Super nasty. If they play the dragon, we got it. Good sideboarding. <laughs> See you later, is it dragons? <laughs> so super fun. Unfortunately, we didn't get Jadzy on or uh, Jadzy on there. I'm. I'm a little disappointed in that. We got very close. We got very close. I did play this a little bit before um, to give it an opportunity to try it, and I did only get it to go off once in about five matches. So um, definitely, nonetheless, a powerful deck. As you can see, it beat a T1 deck that a lot of people consider T1 anyway. Um, so, and again, you saw my sideboard that I added in here. Very powerful in the top end. Getting the extra Quandrix in there is huge. Getting the Elder Gargroth in there is huge. Um, very, very impressive on the Quandrix commands. Potentially, you saw what happened there. We can keep delaying, keep ramping, keep making our guys bigger too. That might even be worth um, adding some more in there as well. So, really, really like this deck had a blast so thank you tz eleanor for building this and sharing this with the community um i know you run uh about 60 percent on it so how did we finish in best of one we went one and two and best of three we did go two and one and split against an is it dragon's deck and end up winning uh two and one i shouldn't say split but um very very impressive we had a blast with this we did see kasima um in there like once um but really, really cool. Um, really, really like this deck. And I, I think there's some likes to it for sure. Um, again, a few things maybe just to watch in the lands. I think maybe streamline a little bit. But it's definitely a really, really nice um, deck for options and best of one. And then obviously, as you can wait for um, some of these late game things, just absolutely a powerhouse um, in terms of being able to lock things down, play around. I love seeing the Quandrix stuff in here. Um, very, very fun uh, for this Simic deck. So where's the sit in best of one? I would say it's tough on the aggro side because it can be inconsistent, but um, with that, you certainly can beat the aggro decks just by delay, 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 um, and those kinds of things as well. So uh, where where is this probably fit? I would actually say maybe in the middle um, of, of tier two or on the lower side of tier two, and then probably for best of three similar. Obviously, we beat a T1 deck. Um, is it dragons or one that many folks think is tier one? Um, and uh, we did it without uh, too much problem, uh, which was good. And we got that sideboard uh, honed in for, for those matches too. So um, with that, Planeswalkers, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, thank you, TZ Eleanor, for this. Um, absolutely love it and for your contributions to the community. So really want to spotlight your deck here. Um, again, for everyone else, 
please feel free to hop on the Discord server if you got questions for her or us. Um, let us know. We'd love to hear from you uh, down below as well. And then on top of that, flip us a like or flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get Jadzy going. I'll have to keep working on that. Uh, maybe there's, I should have been filming and then maybe stuck that on the back of this one, but it can happen. And it's really, really cool when it gets going, um, particularly in the counter battles like you saw with the uh, with the dragons deck there. Um, you can keep pulling counter spells off the top and paying the one instead of everything else and going there, even though they're low and cheap already, um, it can certainly make a world of difference um, in terms of opportunity. And then we were so close to the journey of the Oracle at one time, we had so many lands, we could have played that and just load it up and then hit Jazzy. So, so many cool things, but um, again, lots of fun. Uh, and hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, great ways to support the channel down below, great ways to connect in the details as well. Um, stay tuned for a lot more fun top decks. Um, certainly going through a lot of different stuff right now. Again, special highlight here out of the Discord server and, and um, deck builders uh, channel. And then additionally, we have uh, Historic coming. I'm working on my tier list. Uh, Friday night meta we just completed as well. And then also a lot of jank coming too. So we're having fun with that. And stay tuned for the live streaming both on YouTube and Twitch. So thank you all subs. Um, thank you to all the YouTube members and patrons as well. Um, and we'll see everyone soon. Have a nice, lovely Father's Day. Um, stay safe, everyone. And we'll see you again. Until next time, Planeswalkers, Mithras out.